Hey, what's up guys, so you know it's best here. This is my unboxing of the new Google Nexus 10. This is the latest tablet coming from Google. So if you've been a fan of the Nexus 7, but you wanted something bigger, this is gonna be your best choice for that. This features a dual core ARM Cortex A15 process inside of it, five megapixel rear facing camera, 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, and it has two gigabytes of RAM. And this one has uh, 16 gigabytes of storage. They do offer a 32 gigabyte of storage option if you wanted that as well. So anyway, um, this is just a look around the box and I don't need my knife just yet. I actually need to slide this out like so and now I need my knife to cut the tape um, so it's very similar boxing style to the Nexus 4 which I unboxed earlier and I'll have a annotation at the end of this video if you want to go check that video out that thing just came through my doorsteps as well today and so let me slide this down voila there is the Nexus 10 all right so let me go ahead and pull this out set it to the side slide that up and we have just the um, connected here, this is just the AC adapter to plug this thing into the wall and I'm failing <laughs> just like I did in my previous video. Plug that in just like so. We have the another USB cable here to be able to charge it and sync it and then we have the quick start guide and the warranty information in there and I think that is it. And this is the Nexus 10. Oops. <laughs> about to ding it up already. Haven't had it for three minutes yet. Alright, so I'm going to get all this uh, plastic protection stuff off of here. And uh, I'm going to turn on the power button so I'm going to get that thing nice and warmed up for you. That's what she. All right, so this is a very nice screen. It's a 10 inch screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. All right, let me move around to the back of the device. And it has a nice, it's very grippy. I don't know what type of material this is, but uh, it's not like a, a slippery plastic. So you'll be able, you can see, you tell by my fingerprints there, you should have a nice little grip on it. Uh, rear facing camera right there. Again, that's five megapixels. Now on the left-hand side, we have the micro USB port and also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then on the right-hand side, you will find a micro HDMI port so you can plug this thing up to a TV very easily. Um, at the top, you'll find the uh, volume controls and also to the power and sleep wake button. All right, so I went ahead and finished the setup process. I'm gonna hit finish and we should be able to get our first look at Android uh, 4.2 Jelly Bean running on this tablet and hit okay. So there are some new things with Jelly Bean, but I'm gonna cover that in a uh, Jelly Bean 4.2, uh, but I'm gonna cover that in a uh, separate video here. But just like the Nexus 4, uh, it seems to be very fast performance. Um, the screen is very nice looking. Uh, Retina display on the iPad, uh, is it close to that one as far as the screen? Not really, I don't see that yet, but um, again, I'm about to test it. I am looking at it upside down, so let me go ahead and hold off my judgment on that. And so just like the Nexus 4, I'm seeing very fast performance here. The screen is nice quality. Um, is it better than Retina display on the iPad? Um, I'm not gonna say that just yet, partly because I am looking at this upside down, uh, but it, is, uh, it's, it looks like it's pretty close to that. And now one of the cool things with Android 4.2, I'll show you real quick, is that when you slide down the left-hand side, you get your normal notifications there as everything is trying to load up. But then you slide down from the right-hand side, you see you get all your controls to control the brightness and your settings and uh, go to your, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that stuff. So I do like that use of the screen real estate. So anyway, guys, this has been my unboxing of the Google Nexus 10. Just like the Nexus 4, I'm going to use this thing, test it out, then I'll bring you my review as soon as possible. Leave a comment down below about what you think about this 10-inch tablet coming from Google, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.